In Numbers 15, 29 to 36, one and the same law applies to everyone who sins unintentionally, whether he is a native-born Israelite or an alien. But anyone who sins defiantly, whether native-born or alien, blasphemes the Lord, and that person must be cut off from his people. Because he has despised the Lord's voice and broken his commands, that person must surely be cut off. His guilt remains on him. While the Israelites were in the desert, a man was found gathering wood on the Sabbath day. Those upon him gathering wood brought him to Moses and Aaron and the whole assembly, and they kept him in custody, because it was not clear what should be done to him. Then the Lord said to Moses, The man must, be, must die. The whole assembly must stone him outside the camp. So the assembly took him outside the camp and stoned him to death, as the Lord commanded Moses. In Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 11 to 19, 35 to 36, and verse 39. You came near and stood at the foot of the mountain while it blazed with fire to the very heavens, with black clouds and deep darkness. Then the Lord spoke to you out of the fire. You hear the sound of words, but saw no form. There was only a voice. He declared to you his covenant, the Ten Commandments, which he commanded you to follow, and then wrote them onto a stone tablet. And the Lord directed me at the time to teach you the decrees and laws you are to follow in the land that you are crossing the Jordan to possess. You saw no form of any kind the day the Lord spoke to you as for him out of the fire. Therefore, watch yourselves very carefully so that you do not become corrupt and make for yourselves an idol, an image of any shape, whether formed like a man or a woman, or like any animal on earth or any bird that flies in the air, or like any creature that moves along the ground or any fish in the waters below. And when you look up to the sky and see the sun, the moon, and the stars, all the heavenly array, do not be enticed into bowing down to them and worshipping things the Lord your God has appointed to all the nations under heaven. You were shown these things so that you might know that the Lord is God. Besides Him, there is no other. From heaven He made you hear His voice to discipline you. On earth He showed you His great fire. And you hear these words from out of the fire. Acknowledge and take to heart this day that the Lord is God in heaven above and on the earth below. There is no other. Deuteronomy chapter 6 verse 4 to 8. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength. These commandments that I give you today are to be upon your hearts. Impress them on your children. Talk about them when you lie, when you sit at home and when you walk along the road, when you lie down and when you get up. Tie them as symbol on your hands and bind them on your forehead. Deuteronomy 11. Verse 1 and 13 to 19. Love the Lord your God and keep His requirements, His decrees, His laws, and His commands always. So if you faithfully obey the commands I am giving you today to love the Lord your God and to serve Him with all your heart and with all your soul, then I will send rain on your land in a season, both autumn and spring rains, so that you may gather in your grain new wine and oil. I will provide grass in the fields for your cattle, and you will eat and be satisfied. Be careful or you will be enticed to turn away and worship other gods and bow down to them. Then the Lord's anger will burn against you and he will shut the heavens so that it will not rain and the ground will yield not produce. And you will soon perish but from the God good land the Lord is giving you. Fix these words of mine in your heart and mind. Tie them as symbols on your hands and bind them on your forehead. Teach them to your children, talking about them when you sit at home, and when you walk along the road, when you lie down and when you get up. The Lord's appointed Sabbath days, Leviticus 23, verse 1 to 4. The Lord said to Moses, Speak to the Israelites and say to them, These are my appointed feasts, the appointed feasts of the Lord, which you were to proclaim as sacred assembly. There are six days when you may work, but the seventh day is a Sabbath of rest. A day of sacred assembly. You are not to do any work. Whether you live, it is a, wherever you live, it is a Sabbath to the Lord. These are the Lord's appointed peace, the sacred assemblies you are to proclaim at their appointed times. Included in these commandments is the weekly seventh day Sabbath or Saturday and the seven special Sabbath peace days. All of this is very important from our salvation 
and eternal life in the prosperous kingdom of God. The first feast day is the Passover, Pascua or Christmas day. This Passover is also known as the feast day of the unleavened bread, which is celebrated for seven days. The first day of the feast of unleavened bread is the first special Sabbath called or known as Pesach 1. The seventh day is the second special Sabbath called Pesach 2. The third special Sabbath is the Pentecost called Sabbath. The fourth special Sabbath is the Feast of the Trumpets or the New Year's Day called Rosh Hashanah. The fifth special Sabbath is the Day of Atonement called Yom Kippur. It was followed by the Feast of Tabernacle which is celebrated for eight days. The first day is the sixth special Sabbath or the Feast of Tabernacle called Sukkot. And the eighth day is the seventh special Sabbath called the last great day also known as Semini Atzeret. The weekly Sabbath always fall every seventh day in Hebrew calendar and always Saturday in the Roman calendar. The seventh special Sabbath feast day falls in the same appointed time, the same day, date, and month in the Hebrew calendar annually. But in the Roman calendar, it varies every year and it could fall on different days of the week and on different months of every year.